What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the House Show Podcast. I am Corey. With me, as always, this is Joe. And we are out here in Byram, Mississippi, for the Broken Path, part of the Path series here with Pro Wrestling Ego. And right now, we've got, uh, well, we've got zombie dragons stalking around, and looks like Eric Silva in a suit. Uh, I haven't seen that before. And they gave him a microphone, that's never a good idea. in the audience uh, getting back at him. He honored them with a 10 bell salute. So, who's the monkey with the bell? Who's got the bell? You. I need you to ring that bell 10 times in honor of the boot boys. And if you don't, he will burn that entire table along with your face. He'll do it. He's crazy. You don't put anything past Zombie Dragon. A Tin Bell salute for the memory of the Boot Boys. Yeah. Oh, well, the music is playing. It doesn't belong to the Boot Boys anymore. Oh, just funny with us. I got gotcha. you. That's funny. Eric Silva's got jokes. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's some good money you just wasted. Perfectly good pop tarts. You can go get unless that show. Unless go get it's it. the blueberry ones. Then. I think they're strawberry. Uh, what? Yeah, go get them. So this is not right. <laughs> you can have some lunch. This is too far. <laughs> Audience calling for the newly monikered J.D. Jenkins. Used to be bubbler of the Boo Boys. Well, the 
left-hand path, making it known that they are in control of Pro Wrestling Ego, at least for the time being. They do hold the tag team belts. Both men are in action later on tonight. We're going to see, uh, let's see, we're going to see Eric Silva going against J.D. Jenkins. They've both been kind of jawing at each other for the, for the week. And then later on, we're going to see Zombie Dragon going against Ray Fury. Should be pretty good matches tonight. Scott making his way to the ring slowly. <laughs> Getting his step ladder in place. <laughs> there he goes. See, Super Dave didn't have a problem. Super Dave just jumps oh, right super up. Super Dave there. is super, man. That's just, <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He brings Lord, out, I would he, hope so. He brings out the little trampoline. You know. <laughs> Pulls a Kalisto. Pulls a Kalisto. <laughs> little Sin Cara right up in there. <laughs> landing awkwardly on the shoulder. Right. Oh, God. He's out for six months. <laughs> oh, he's mopping it up. That's nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. So we'll pause right here while we clean up a Pop-Tart. Scotty, what do you think about that? <laughs> That right there is the voice of Tank. Tank's going to be joining us uh, later on tonight on a couple of our uh, matches. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty solid Scotty. That's pretty good. I thought it was, I thought it was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, not too bad at all. <clears throat> Do we have an official paper towel of Pro Wrestling Ego? <laughs> we should. I think Bounty. Bounty? Let's go with Bounty. Mm. And they can get that kind of money. Do we Why have not? an official broom no, no. of uh, no. Pro Wrestling No, guys. Ego? It's Sparkle. 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 Sparkle could work. <laughs> Dave, Dave with the broom. Dave always a team player. <laughs> and oddly enough, when he uh, applied for this job, that was actually part of the qualifications. <laughs> Can you sweep up Pop-Tarts? All right, so first match tonight, we've got the caveman, Alex Graves, and Wes Warren going against Shaky McMullen and Bulldog, who we've seen for the past couple of outings. Definitely both men impressive. Caveman took the belts off of the Boo Boys, and then the left-hand path took it off of them. Both cavemen have been in uh, singles action over the past couple of events, so it's good to see them back together as a tag team. Yeah, absolutely. Getting that division put back together. Alex looking over Scotty's playbook. I think maybe stealing a couple, might be stealing yeah, a couple moves right there. It's not like Jericho's list of a thousand and one holds. <laughs> you just made a list. <laughs> Arm bar. I put two things one after the other, and I've created a list. Yep. You just made a list. If you just made the list, Scotty forgot the list. That's not that out of the ordinary. Alex Graves throwing his jacket to a uh, lovely woman on the front row. That's a souvenir that nobody asked for. Oofa. Chris Athens, as we said, has been seen the past couple of uh, outings at the uh, Hideaway and also out in uh, Pilahatchee. I think Scott is dyslexic. He's got to read it backwards. It's so slow. <laughs> Start with the last. Left to right, Scotty. Left to right. Just being honest, I think it's going to take a couple of a uh, couple of events before I get used to the idea of watching the former Boot Boy sure. competitors working without one another. No longer the tartans, no longer the uh, the ska music. Yeah, the, yeah. Speaking of tartans, I'm glad Shaky put some pants on. Yeah, absolutely. I think we all should be. Well, it's about time somebody read the suggestion box. <laughs> they got a suggestion box? I've been filling it <laughs> with. 
<laughs> it took me three minutes to empty it. I had like spider webs and, and crap in it. I think what you've been doing is just putting notes into the money till, Joe. Yeah, but, oh, but man. it made a fat boy smile. I found one Eminem. There it is. All right, starting up tonight, we got Shaky going against Alex Graves. Yeah, uh, nope. Looks like Shaky's passing nice. that off to, uh, to Athens there. We got to find out more about uh, Bulldog's face paint there. We got to find out what the reason is behind all that. Joe, that's your next job. That's my job? Yep. I, I found out, guys. I just got back. All right, Tank, what you find out? <laughs> He's ugly. That's what I'm All right. Tank, our roving reporter, says that the uh, face paint is due to his lack of pleasant features. I've done some follow-up research on this. <laughs> Have you? Absolutely confirmed. Okay, confirmed. Yep. It's on the Wikipedia. Wes Warren coming in. There are times where I feel like when you're going to ask people to make some noise, you might want to specify exactly what, what noise, noise you're looking for. I agree. Make some noise. Oh, hey. there's a pale man trying to make a muscle in the middle of the ring. He should have, have a Hellman sticker on his on his stomach. <laughs> Absolutely right. Here comes the lockup. Deep and low. There we go. Come on, Super Dave. Here we go. Shoots him off. Nice shoulder tackle. Again, Alex just tossing articles of clothes at this young lady. I hope at some point that that stops. I hope, there's a I limit so to too. how many of the clothes he currently has I want him to toss up to somebody on the outside. I'd like him to toss me some blue blockers. Good heavens, Tank. Come on. Well, Wes Warren is blinding me right now. Yeah, I mean, Wes Warren is a, is a pale man. I can't handle it. Bulldog working on that arm. Super Dave, keeping on top of it. Shaky's on the outside over there in the corner, just genuinely looking disinterested. Shaky, Shaky doesn't look like he's happy to be here at all. He looks quite perplexed. Uh, well, you know, I think he's probably still going through some emotions from the breakup. It's to be expected, but, you know, you got to get your head into this you game. Gotta, man, you got to put on the, with his wife. You got to put on, on the mixtape and just, you know, go out in the rain Beautiful and cry and Athens. work through that stuff, man. Yeah. You got a match to happen right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Well, first off, it's his livelihood, so uh, why wouldn't he want to participate and get paid like everybody else? Uh, you know, just maybe misses his, his brothers in arms. Maybe this was something that was thrown together at the last minute. We don't really know. Wes Warren sent off. Nice hip toss. Another arm drag off to the side. And the blind tag by Alex Graves. Signing up for more time with Chris Evans. <laughs> to, I'm not to, sure to get beat down. I'm not sure if that's wise. Athens calling for a test of strength right in the middle. Alex wisely takes the lower half. I mean, if I were facing off with somebody who was the size of one of my legs... I'd, I'd call for the test of strength as well. I, I think I probably would too. Alex trying to work over the bulldog that's, right there. That's nope. a test he can pass, you know. It's not and like, there's it's the not tag. Like a, West Ward is now in. Not like a third grade spelling test. This is a this is one that he's probably good at. Both men. They're going to tear up those fights. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but Shaky is now sat down on the, the corner. Yeah, Shaky's just hanging out. You might hear that song from Charlie Brown playing while he's over there. I kind of imagine it's the uh, it's the uh, Incredible Hulk theme. That's no, incredible. I'm Hulk. pretty sure that's not the song. <laughs> <laughs> it was either that or Unbreak My Heart. I'm gonna go Unbreak see if Shaky wants heart, to take a football real quick. Please, <laughs> Wes Ward getting shoved off there, trying to take it to Chris Athens. Elbows in the corner, hard elbows in the corner. Are you taking my job, Tank? Come on. That's what you're going to need to do, though, against uh, Bulldog. I'm going to shut up. Throw some elbows in there. Big Otherwise, splash something in the like that's going to happen. Wes rolling to an opposite corner. Nobody over there. At, yeah, Alex is over on the other side. High knee. Now Chris has joined him in that corner <laughs> rapidly. I beg to differ. That was not a high knee. <laughs> it was a knee, but it Get wasn't a high one. Get out of here. 
Go take a lap. It was elevated. It was elevated from its previous position, but now. It's all right. Alex asking for the tag. Bulldog up. Oh, misses just barely. And there's the tag. Shaky, still nonplussed, not interested. Alex off the top. An axe handle. There's one, two. That, that's what we're asking, yeah. Warren. No, nobody knows Wes. <laughs> I think it's very caring of Wes to be genuinely be concerned caring. about Shaky right now. Well, you got to try anything when you're that white. He's translucent. He's not white. All right, they're trying the double team again. It's very nope. clear. Very clear. There's one. There's another. Both so, men. Back. So like a jellyfish. <laughs> More like a guppy. I like Guffy. Guffy's good. Yep. Yeah. Athens trying to find purchase. Making his way back up. Wes and Alex both on the floor. Shaky seems to be showing a bit of interest. He's at least on his feet now. Yep. We'll call that And progress. there's the tag. Shaky in for the and first time. Now he time needs to do some work. Against Alex Graves. Now he's going to take some stuff out. Hard blows to the head. Alex getting in the corner. Shaky following through with a quick splash. And another one. What goes up? Right down in the middle of the ring. Shaky looking like he's got something to prove, and kind of he does. Absolutely. Now, uh, you know, he was, seemed disinterested before, but now that the adrenaline's going, he's back in the ring. I think he's looking to take out some of that frustration on the caveman. I mean, you he got, might as well. you got to remember, guys, a lot of the people looked at him as the manager, not really part of the boot boys. That's so, very true. Shaky was he, out for a while with some knee injuries. He might have a chip on his shoulder, you know. I wouldn't doubt it. Trying and to for good reason. Alex just shoved off. Get him in the corner. Wes is now the legal man. I, I don't know what that was. Yep. Yeah, well, that's not going to work. Alex trying to get him down there. Knees to the sternum. Alex goes in. Wes going for the pin. And there it is, the quick pin by Wes Warren on to Shaky McMullen. The cavemen are your winners for this opening match. Some awkwardness in the ring, some lackadaisicalness from Shaky McMullen until the very end. Not exactly sure what's going through his head, but I guarantee that his partner is not too happy. Absolutely. I mean, you can have two competitors who both are excellent in the ring. Uh, powerhouses, you know, sizable guys who can really work over some of these uh, the smaller guys, but yep. there's something to be said for efficient tag team work. They had their tags working quickly and were able to put things together and get the one, two, three on Shaky. Well, I mean, the caveman didn't get the belts just by having them handed over to him, so, I mean, there's, there's something to be said for that. Shaky was never in this match to begin with. That's, that's true enough. And it looks like Athens has got something to say to him. Unfortunately for Shaky, technically he was. <laughs> it would have been nice if his whole heart was into it. Hey, you see that purple can make. in front of you? It's a big, nice glass of shut up. <laughs> now listen, Tank, that's not necessary. Now, uh, Athens trying to uh, console <laughs> Shaky. He was Delicious thirsty. glass of shut the hell up. Looks like Athens isn't Let holding Let me tell you grudge. about this glass of shut up. It is so good. <laughs> hey, look, there's something going on in the ring. What? But there's a ring? <sighs> Shaky, not having it. Making his way outside. Leaving like a fat kid that lost his Snickers bar. Well, now I really do have that Charlie Brown song in my head. That's sad. You lost do I act different when I'm hungry? And you are. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Athens but, uh, getting the microphone. Bulldog's got something to say here. Oh, there we go.
Chris Athens making his way to the back. Admirable effort trying to encourage Shaky. Yeah, it'll be Chris Probably basically. Probably a little too, little too late. Chris carried that entire match, and so there's something to be said for that, That's too. not true. I mean, Shaky came in and lost. I mean, all right. I mean, someone's got to lose the match. Yeah, that, uh, well. This time it was Shaky. Shaky's got some stuff going on, so don't even, don't even worry about it. When you come into the ring, you got to be in the ring. That's the rest. Coming out, the White Widow. It's been a while since we've seen her here in Pro Wrestling Ego, but she's coming out to make a statement. Tonight we're going to be seeing her going against Candy Crush. Speaking of people with chips on their shoulders, she is not having it from this crowd. Is Scott wearing a shawl? Of course he is. What is that? It's one of them uh, Saudi Arabian headdresses. No, it, no. That would show that Scott has some culture. We know that's not true. Whatever. <laughs> Coming out the crowd, favorite Candy Crush. Uh, never a more apropos theme song. Candy, heading out the candy. There we go. You know, we're all the way back here. You can throw us a little bit. No, nothing. All right. Joe, go. Go, Joe, go. That's right. That just <laughs> happened. <laughs> I got me a Dash Snickers. clean it up. Oh, Dash, you're a good man. We appreciate you. Look at you. Make it a rain candy. Up <laughs> I'm glad he didn't open the packages of M&M's and dump them all over us. That's, this I appreciate one's that. This one's already open. <laughs> well, it saved you a little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you opened this one already. It's yours. Actually, I think technically, is that? Is Maybe the other one was opened. This oh, one? no, that's this one. It's yep. yours. I've never seen two men, grown men get scolded by a 12-year-old. Then you is. have not been at our table during <laughs> the last couple of events. Dash always Dash. makes the point. <laughs> Scold just right, regularly. So the bell has rung. The match has begun. White Widow doesn't seem like she's interested in this happening. It's a popularity contest here tonight. Oh, my goodness. White Widow just working her over in that second rope. No, it's really just too easy with the candy crush getting crushed things. Like, a, it's that's the know. only thing that comes to my head. Right, but I'm more worried about whether she owns yeah. the rights to use that. Uh... Hmm. They spill it with a candy. White Widow <laughs> taking her out of the corner. Candy looking for some quick boot to the midsection. Side headlock. Trying to get her to slow down just a little bit. Yeah, sometimes it's a good idea just to change the pace up when you're uh, the start off the match not doing very well. You just got to change that pace. Says yep. something new. Absolutely. Candy being sent off onto the ropes. Quick shoulder tackle. One more. Side hip toss. 
And White Widow's taking a powder right now. White Widow is much more of a, the veteran than Candy is, so, you yeah. know, sometimes you just change the pace, step out of the rings a little bit, collect your thoughts, come in with a new strategy. Maybe yell at a cameraman or something. Yeah, the kid's just doing his job. You, you, you do what you got to do. That. Still glad kid brought his helmet. Going on the sixth count right now from Super Dave. Candy, Candy asking for more action. Widow saying no. Rolls back Widow's out, breaks just, the count. Widow's just checking to see whether or not Dave actually knows more than higher than six. Don't don't test Dave. That guy's a veteran. He's yeah, I super. Think it wasn't today ACT testing day, so I think it makes sense to test. Well, you know, you might have a point there. Yeah, I do. I do. That's right. Now Dave starts to count. He just got to one? He just got to one. It's been a while. <laughs> well, I think he got distracted by Candy. <laughs> right to the uh, eyes. Dave, come didn't, on. Didn't get distracted by that. Dave. <laughs> White Widow knocking Candy to the floor. Quick roll up. One. <laughs> Driving Candy back down to the mat. One more time. Yeah, ref, you got to stay on that. Can't be pulling by the hair. Quick boot to the midsection. Pull him by something. Get up off the mat. Back. Oh. Quick cover. One, two, out of two and a half. Dave went for that. The third, really powerfully. Yeah, he almost Dave flipped was, over completely. Well, there's a reason he's got that brace on his arm. Dave doesn't, Dave doesn't half-ass anything. <laughs> <laughs> he commits. The uh, power three I think three I saw count. those shoes on Dancing with the Stars. But it's the ones Dave's got on. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> White Widow he's reaching gonna hit. back that neck of Candy Crush. He's going to hit us with the Paso Doble. <laughs> Candy getting out. Oh, and a quick pull of the hair, and she's back onto the map. And Widow going right back to that neck. Candy trying to find a rope to at least grab onto. Makes her way back up. Working over that next section, trying to break that hold. Sent off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Comes back with the shoulder tackle. Got candy crushed. Gosh, yep. <laughs> that is all working. I can think of. Nope. I gotta write some stuff down and come in as another <laughs> Which material. Which would be a shame. Oh, mamma mia! <laughs> that was a. That's what happens when you get Alzheimer's. Ooh. Candy, taking care of business right now. I think I have Alzheimer's. I can't remember. Making sure the White Widow can't get back up. And a splash. One, two, out at two. Dave going for that power three again. I feel like he's going to go through the mat when he does. He might. <laughs> nope. Now we're just trade, the trading. <laughs> oh, and a quick DDT. Oh. One, two, and three. That. that is it for Candy. White Widow is your winner here tonight with a DDT finisher. White Widow's experience pays off. She's able to keep in mind the right counters for the moments when they come up. Yep. Makes the move. You got to move. Ends it with the DDT. A good showing from Candy. This is the second time that I've seen her work. And, uh, you know, she's coming along nicely. Let's hope that she has some better luck in the next match. Once again, we are here out in Byron, Mississippi with Pro Wrestling Ego at the Broken Path. If you want to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you can find us at House Show Pod. You can find me on Twitter at House Show underscore Corey. On House Show underscore Joe. And you can always get a hold of Pro Wrestling Ego at Pro Wrestling Ego on your Twitters, your Instagrams, your Facebooks. Also find it through the hashtag, hashtag Pro Wrestling Ego and hashtag Pride of the South. There we go. 
Scott making his way back in the ring. Maybe. We'll Scott minutes. taking a break. That uh, <laughs> that step up was intense. <laughs> they took it out of weasel little window. I understand. I am wondering who Scott's stylist is. Is Walmart a style? <laughs> We're going to say Chuck Norris. <laughs> Walker, Walker, Texas, Texas Ranger. Ranger. <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger. Walker, Texas Ranger. You know, guys, I talk a lot of smack, but I do want to say I appreciate y'all letting me sit in with y'all on this house show. We're glad to have you, Tank. What? <laughs> um, no, I'm not glad to have you anymore. All right, Ben, welcome. Uh, wore out real quick. What? <laughs> You don't like me no more? I like you just fine. I like you halfway across the room. And uh, Well, good. I'm big enough. I'm over there, too. <laughs> Probably. New person oh, to Pro Wrestling Dingo were Cameron's. I didn't know we went to eat the WCW. Is that Alex Wright? Whatever happened to Alex Wright? He's he right danced here all the way back to Germany. <laughs> Probably so. Cameron Ryan on the outside of the ring right now. And a hush falls over the crowd. I'm not impressed. That's all right. My God, he had two different pairs of sunglasses on. That is talent. So he went to Family Dollar and Dollar General at the same time. If he could pull it off, he saved a couple of bucks. I'm not going to blame the guy for it. I thought he had long johns on. I mean, he bought everything at Family Dollar. Listen, times are tough, Tank. You can't always get what we want. You tried to buy ring gear lately? It's a little expensive. I don't think those stains are from wrestling. Good heavens, sir. Please. Is this a three-way? Coming out right now, the mightiest duck. Orion Taylor, fan favorite and former Styles champion. Big surprise, this wasn't supposed to be a three way. Yep. The mightiest from the biggest time in Florida. Looks like we now have a three-way on our hands with Cameron Ryan, Lights Cameron Action, and Orion Taylor. So, you know, if we got two Camerons, I'm going to do... <laughs> double the Cameron, so Cameron, double the Cameron fun. Ryan and Orion Taylor and Taylor, <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas. And, JTT will and not Thomas. be here. We could not afford him. <laughs> and Thomas fact, Jefferson. Just because you and, mentioned and his the name. The Jeffersons, the television show. And uh, Are you having a stroke? <laughs> Do you taste dirty I, pennies? I can. What? I do. You smell I burnt do. toast? Are you yeah, telling me there is not it? burnt toast in here? Not right now. That is all I've been smelling for the last hour. You. Oh, those are nachos. I thought that was burnt toast. I'm trying to figure out about the dirty pennies. <laughs> Don't try taking it. It'll only hurt. <laughs> double the, we're going to call this match Double the Cameron, Double the, the Fun. Exactly. We're going to have to. 
All the gentlemen are ready. Super Dave calls for the bell, and Lots here we go. Pointing. These triple threats are always a tough one to call. It looks like, yeah, Cameron Ryan's going to take a powder right now and let the guys that's, handle business. That's, that's how you solve it right that's there. It's not a bad you idea. You say, hey, you two do what you need to do. I'm just going to hang out here. I'm fine. It makes Especially sense. as long as uh, Dave's not going to be counting anything here. Absolutely right. I'm just going to sit on the outside, do what I need to do. Take a little breather. Cameron action wrenching on that arm of Ryan Taylor. Cameron Ryan making his way around the ring, trying to get a good view, trying to find the right time to slip inside the ring and do what, just get some work done. Yep, absolutely right. Yeah, Cameron Ryan begs and off again. Not Ryan Taylor saying, hey, come on in, man. We got plenty of time. What a polite host. He I just agree. holds the door open. And says, I agree. Hey. hey, Cameron. Cameron off the corner there. Beautiful move. Ducks the clothesline. Nice hurricanrana. And Cameron action right back to his feet. Ryan telling Cameron, don't even try it. Sit around. Cameron Ryan on the outside. Shot off. Ryan Taylor taking his time. And looks like Cameron Action's making his way outside, too. Right into the corner ring post. <laughs> and Ryan gets met with a back elbow. Ryan we Taylor. Had two Camerons on the outside. We have a Ryan and Ryan on the inside. Exactly. Beautiful bridge. Working it over again. Gets him back. Beautiful back break there. Ryan Taylor making his way to the outside, heading up top. Cameron Action has a different idea, though, and hangs on to that left leg. Ugh, Cameron Ryan with that quick boot upside the head. Ryan's to the floor. Cameron Action making his way back in. Top rope action here. Body from the top. Barely a two count. Not enough, Cameron Ryan. Good heavens. Nice counter into a slam. One count in the center. I like what I'm seeing from Cameron Ryan. He yeah. seems to be very methodical, seems to have a, a, some nice clean moves, but enough power to make things happen. Up and back. Oh. Ryan Taylor taking this time on the outside. No need to rush. Ryan doesn't have enough quite to put uh, action down. You know, we were saying last time, when you're looking at Cameron action, you don't expect much, but the guy's got some really good endurance and resilience. Cameron Ryan. He can take a beating. Taking a spot. Standing drop kick to the corner. Oh, Ryan making his way up on the outside. Ryan and spots him, gives right him an elbow. Off. Cameron Ryan, quick in the ring. Really great ring awareness. Knows where that other guy is. He's, this is the kind of guy that's very tough to deal with in a three-way type match. Absolutely right, Joe. Driven back onto the mat. Cameron Ryan making his way to the outside. Ryan Taylor on the outside as well. Up and over. Hila. Spine buster right there. Ryan was looking for a spot to get back in. That, <laughs> that might was not, not have been it. <laughs> that was not it at all. Cameron Action pulling Ryan off. Going for the pit himself. Another pull off. Well, this isn't going to end well. Schoolyard shoving match right now. Ryan taking his time at this time. Now's not the time to get distracted. No, not with Ryan Taylor in the ring. You don't want to let him get a... Oh, good heavens. Wow. Just saying, you do not want to let Orion Taylor get a head of steam going. Nope. But the audience is always firmly behind him. 
I think they are concerned about his abilities as a medical doctor. And so they are no, it's, disparaging it's more, it's, his ability nope, as a medical doctor. Nope. Um, they're not, they no. are calling him a quack. Uh, quack because of the Mighty Duck reference. The film? One could say. And also he's a big fan of uh, Miami University. Oh, I see. The Ducks. <laughs> the Ducks. Oh, Cameron Ryan just getting a high knee to the forehead. Cameron action. Going in. Beautiful My move goodness. from Orion Taylor. Cameron Action taking full advantage of that with a knee right to the face. Goodness. You see the height that Orion had on that. Uh, don't let his size fool you. Oh, dang it. I did it again. I let yep. his size fool you. Yeah. I know. You do it all the time. I try to remind you. Let me write that down. Do not let, let his size, his size fool, fool you. You or me? You. Me. Yep. You have Alzheimer's. That's not going to work <laughs> either. Got it right. What did I just write down? I can't. Nobody knows. And terrible handwriting, much like a very bad medical doctor. You see how I brought that back? I do. (laughs) And I would like to say the uh, University of Miami is not the Ducks. (laughs) You were just going to let that sit there for that long? It's it's the Hurricanes. Well, I'm (laughs) not supposed to be talking during this match, but I figured I'd jump in right here. You You couldn't take it anymore. Tank Tank is our roving reporter and our fact checker here at the table. (laughs) fact. Y'all were wrong. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Orion flipping off there. Coming back again. Beautiful double kicks. Woo! Hip up. This would be the head of steam that they really shouldn't let him get. Exactly right. Oh my. Beautiful neck breaker into a DDT for Cameron Action there. I'm going to say that Orion came out for the better on that move. Absolutely right. One, two, and yeah, there's a breakup by action. Action stopped the action. I just love how Why you call him bother? Cameron Action. It's like his last name is action. action. It could be. Have you looked at his birth certificate tank? I the looked at him, form. man. The I'm the pretty sure. It's Beautiful the fireman the right there in the middle of the ring. It, it, it is action. If Wes Warren is Hillman's. Cameron Ryan heading Cameron up to the top. Cameron Action. Is blue plate. <laughs> it all depends on your taste. Cameron Ryan calling out his shot. Nope. Orion Taylor off. A bit of a uh, Selena Del Sol there with the uh, the three count. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised because Orion Taylor is absolutely amazing in the ring, and uh, well, Cameron's find out real hard who runs this one. So Ryan Taylor over Cameron Ryan and lights camera action. Hard fought victory, but well done. The mightiest duck, the winner here tonight in Byram, Mississippi. Another great showing by Orion Taylor. Mississippi native now finds his home in the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas. Do you need a flu shot? I don't want one from that quack. Again, he's not a medical... It's... Jesus Christ. (laughs) Yeah, that's fine. You know what? That's fine, Joe. I'm getting tired of being the special guest. <laughs> now you know. How do you think I feel? I'm with them every single one. <laughs> yeah, take that. Wait a minute. So far tonight, we've seen. I will say this is the best episode of House Show you haven't listened to that a lot. ever happened. <laughs> do you know why? Because you're on it. Tanks here, baby. Tanks. Oh Jesus! I, mean, I can turn your mic off real quick. <laughs> so far, we've seen Shaky McMullen and. The Bulldog against the Cavemen. Cavemen coming out on top on that one. We saw the White Widow going against Candy Crush. And White Widow was the winner. And just now, Orion Taylor won out over Cameron Ryan and lights Cameron action. Scott stretching it out over there. He's about to make that Herculean effort. 
Hey. Y'all heard his hip? I heard it. That's the name of the man, the name of the man, the name of the That's, that's, that's the word he's looking for. Spot on, Scotty impersonation. It really is. That I gotta admit, Tank, that's, that's probably the best Scotty impression I've heard, and that's also the only Scotty impression so I've far. ever heard. I mean, let's just say, of all of the Scotty impressions I've heard, hey, my, that best. is the one that I've heard. Yep, that is. You know, my bowl of cereal this morning did a Scotty impression of him getting in the ring. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. Oh my. Uh, I thought it was going to be Captain Crunch. I'm not exactly sure what's going on sure right now. Pops. <laughs> Folks, I'm not exactly sure Scott knows where he is right now. <laughs> this is what a stroke looks like. Coming up right now, J.D. Jenkins making his way to the ring. And a Jamie. whole lot of tank on the mic. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. No, in all seriousness, guys, J.D. Jenkins has a lot to prove. Absolutely. He's he been does. talking a lot of smack on Facebook to Eric Silva. He and Eric Silva have been going back and forth on Facebook, on Twitter, making all the social media access a available. A lot of ball references. Did anybody else see the feed? I did not. We pretty much told Eric Silva he didn't have any balls left. Good heavens. That without the left-hand path, he is nothing. That J.D. could beat him anytime, any place. I mean, all right, we're going to – it's time to put up or shut up. So hopefully – You know, we watched J.D. from his very start here with Pro Wrestling Nigo into what he is now and the uh, – the path, if I may, has been quite substantial. He's made great strides, and I am looking forward to seeing this uh, solo outing from him. Dropping a lot of weight. Absolutely. Hopefully he continues that process of more protein than Pop-Tarts. Yeah, it would help. Let's see what he's got to say, guys. Told y'all, ball references. Yep. A plenty. Kind of PG that one up for the crowd. Not going to appreciate that. I think it's because we're at a church. I would, I would imagine so. He said, "Stupid face." I mean, that's in the Bible. Pretty much Is just it? calling him out. Is that in the Bible? Yeah. Stupid face. Uh, Leviticus. That's. You know, you're taking advantage of me just because I've not read a little bit. Pretty much. <laughs> it's in there. I'm going to say that was blasphemy. It's in Leviticus. Uh, Here comes a whole yes. lot of purple. Stirdust making his oh appearance my. again. Last time we saw him was at the hideaway. Suddenly I want a grape crush. Stirdust earlier this week said he had a bit of a proposition for the wrestlers of Pro Wrestling Ego. He has a, uh, that's a, that is a heck of a lining and that is a lot of stars. Uh, he's got a briefcase that he says has something inside that is worth up to $10,000. Now, whether he actually has that money in there or it's some type of uh, prize. Is that, is that U.S. or European? You know, I'm not exactly sure where Stirdust comes well, like, from, so it's tough to say, say what the conversion rate is. You say dollars, though. It's not he, like pounds. He might have said doll or hairs. Doll hairs. What? Yes. He's got $10,000 doll hairs. Yeah, yeah I got to read those tweets case. closer. I wish you would. $10,000 doll hairs. What? Well, that's what that's what <laughs> that's what comes with no. the, when his promo doesn't include. Gentlemen, his hang face. on for just a second. Sturdust has something to say. Oh, 
Billy knows where he's from. All right. He might be right on that one. <laughs> Definitely right, because I don't know what the hell I'm looking at right now. I do not understand. I mean, he's got a point. He's not wrong. Well, if he does that again, he needs, he's going to need four hands. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> I, I don't know that O'Shea Edwards exactly needed Sturdust's help. Scott taking a nap. Tinky Winky reference. I mean, I mean, Sturdus has a point. It's, his is more of a royal purple than that periwinkle that Tinky Winky used to wear. Why are you doing that right now? You, 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 really? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to play the color theory game? He's, yeah, a, we're doing? he's a fashion fashionista. You didn't <laughs> I've got the Pantone scale right here. I can just look it right up. You have those color cards you in your trunk? It. Yep. <laughs> I thought he was the Kool-Aid man for 2018. All right, so Sturdust Challenge, a $10,000 match. Calling for the briefcase. Sturdust Henchman. Let's call him Steve. <laughs> Oh, well, all right. I told y'all, Eric Silva said a match with J.D. Jenkins wasn't profitable. But now it just no became. Purpose. Yeah. And now it just became profitable. Absolutely. As and soon as they said $10,000, Eric Silva's music hit. And obviously, Silva had uh, thought about this before because he is dressed to wrestle right now out of that suit that he was wearing just a short while ago. So uh, this ought to be interesting. $10,000 in that briefcase. Are we supposedly. sure he didn't just pay $10,000 for that briefcase? In which case, I think he way oh, overpaid. But no, that's an, uh, that's an aluminum, as well as he would say, an aluminium case. A Could what? have cost aluminium. <laughs> Alu what? Yep, look it up. That's how English people say aluminum. Uh, that is. J.D. Jenkins. I can buy that same case Silva to at come Walmart on for $10. I think you should. I just swapped them out. There's a Walmart not far from here. 1.2 miles. All right. Jenkins, steadfast, and Eric Silva just grabbing the mic out of Sturdust's hand. Sturdust looking a little pale. Now, see, Sturdust says it's valued at ten thousand. There's no, he's not saying that there is ten thousand dollars in that if case. If it's one of those coupon books that my kid sells for middle school. I mean, I bought, it might be. I bought that for thirteen dollars. You can get a good deal at Moe's. I think you get like a, a buy one get one free. <laughs> it's valued at Go get a concrete from Bops. Yep, absolutely. Bops, not a sponsor of us, but if they want to be, we'd welcome them gladly. Hell yeah, I like ice cream. Who doesn't? Well, like well is it ice people. cream or is it frozen custard? What is it? I think it's a custard. It's custard. Yeah. Hmm. Let's listen to Sir Dust for a moment. Okay, that's plenty. Yep. 
All right, Sturdus making his way outside with the briefcase. And Sturdust fell down. He slipped that's, in that water. Yeah, that water's a little that water's a little treacherous. I feel I feel yeah, bad for the guy. Some, uh, slippery floor around here. Yeah. <laughs> JD Jenkins JD having that a bit of a really laugh. funny. Bit of a laugh. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All right, here we go. Super Dave in the ring, so this will be a match. Stardust with a good cover. That's all right, Stardust. I'm pretty sure nobody saw that. Nope. That's uh, fine. I'm, I'm sure I, everybody's. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't, you don't know Tank. I'm definitely not going to make a clip of that and p- post just that clip on YouTube. You Where don't even know how the internet works, Joe. Seconds. How are you going to do that? I have the internet in this little box I keep in my pocket. Yes. I need you to be quiet because I don't know, want to know what he has in his pockets. <laughs> You're wise, Tank. Wise beyond that your is years. the first My time years. anybody has ever called Tank and, wise. And the last. Silva makes a roll out to the side. Saying if JD wants this match, he's going to have be, to wait for it. Be careful rolling to the outside. <laughs> That's not worked out well for just a couple people. You're just going to drink random people's Cokes? That's not sanitary. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Silva making JD wait on it. All he's doing is uh, getting him riled up, getting him off his game, picking his spots. Yep, absolutely. As we all know, the left hand path is really, really conniving. <laughs> Indeed. But the main message JD Jenkins has been sending all week is that Eric Silva is nothing. Without the left hand path. path. If yeah, he doesn't have true. the left hand path, he can't beat JD Jenkins. Well, hopefully, we're going to find that out tonight. Crowd solidly behind JD Jenkins. The former bubbler yep. of the boot voice. I'm going to say this, though. Uh, Eric Silva, maybe in a, in a match where it's just one on one, it's just about him and, and Jenkins. That that may not be the match for him, you know. It may be that Jenkins got the upper uh, hand on him. Well, Jenkins but has got the upper hand match, right now. But this is now a match for a briefcase with ten thousand dollars. We something know worth valued at ten dollars, <laughs> yeah, thousand dollars, ten dollars. You got to read the fine print. When there's when there's motivation involved. Yep, yeah. I'm with you. Jerry Jenkins, Silva. solid forearm to the back of Silva. And a fist to the face. Yeah, you're probably not going to get very far just going straight at Jenkins here. Nope. As the special guest, I'd like to ask you two fellas a question. Please, Tank. Do you think Eric Silva has what it takes to beat J.D. Jenkins by himself? I mean, if we're ever talking pound for pound and and, uh, power for power, I'm not exactly sure, but Silva has never made it unknown that he's not against using nefarious means to get something done. So in that case, I'm just going to have to wait and see. Silva now in control. J.D. Jenkins on the ground. Silva with those quick blows to the side of his head. I mean, I think it's hard to go, you know, straight, I guess, head-to-head with, with Jenkins and feel, you know, you're going head-to-head with a train. I sure, mean, exactly. That's, that's not a fight Choking him out win. on the second rope right but, now. But Silva's got strategy on his side. You know, he's got, he's got his nefarious ways. He knows what he's doing in that ring, and he knows what he can get away with. Well, I'm going to say this in in my head. J.D. Jenkins has something Eric Silva doesn't have, and that's morals. Mm, okay. Eric Silva has no morals. He's going to do what it takes, whatever it takes to win, and J.D. Jenkins just won't do that. He won't cheat. Well, that we know of. You know, there was a bit of a moral code when he was with the Boot Boys, but now that he's out on his own, you never know what goes through, goes through a man's head when he's put to the limits. So I'm not going to put anything against him or up against him. Now having a seat out here. Silva kicks and blows. And there go the chairs. Sturdus making his way around the ring just to get a better view of everything. Holding that briefcase tight. Silva having another drink of that Coke. Listen, buddy. Whose Coke is that? (laughs) Well, he's just assuming he's going to get that $10,000. He'll be able to replace that Coke. It's very true. He could replace it with a 20 ounce if he wants to. I will say this. From the two two promos I've seen from Jenkins, yep. I don't think he is willing to cheat or willing to do what it takes to win. 
against Eric Silva. And Eric Silva is. Yeah. We've seen it multiple times with the left hand. Yeah, Silva's going up right now onto the apron. Hardest part of the ring right there. Yep. Jenkins coming back in. Going for the pin. Might be a little too preemptive there. Yep. Two count. I'm trying to keep my eye on Sturdust over there to see if he seems to have a, a, a dog in this hunt. You know, he comes in here with this $10,000. It clearly motivates Eric Silva to take part in this match that otherwise he probably wouldn't have taken. Right. So you got to think that Sturdust has got his eye on, on supporting Silva here, right? He's motivating this guy to take this match in the first place. I mean, we're just going to have to wait and see. I, the thing that I found with Sturdust, at least from his online presence and seeing him in person, you never really know which way he's going. Uh, so I'm interested to see what, what he decides on this one. My two points would have to be that uh, he's not Mark a wrestler. Slam. Yep. So what does he have to gain from this? And the well, second, he's got that back. He's got that bad back. Yeah, he's got a back <laughs> issue. And, Big the, and my second from point. Two and count. my second point is I don't trust the English. Just as a as, as a nation. overall. No. <laughs> they got weird accents. So are you okay you, with the Scottish? Take... Just not the English? Or are you <laughs> I'm okay with I'm okay with any of our brothers and sisters from across the pond. I feel like it's the Welsh you gotta look out for. Well, they are a little uh, touchy there. Eric Silva with a high kick to the side you of know, Jacob's I head. Just, I was just thinking somebody should go check on Sturdust. His back may have gotten even worse with that with slip that to slip, the outside. Yeah, it's I possible. Mean, he may, may put him on the shelf for a bit more. Oh, no. I felt that all the way over here, by the way. <laughs> Scientists. Jenkins in miles, the corner. Probably heard, felt that. Catching some breath. I've been thinking about this. I do like some English people. Good. Just not that one. Nah, that's all right. Silva with a high knee to the chin of Jenkins. Sturdust starting to get into it with some of the crowd. Well, he never minds getting into it with the audience. Another high knee to that chin. Silva trying to wear down and fog up Jenkins. He's noodle need right now, guys. Silva one more time. Misses. Jenkins off. Big splash in the corner. Silva down to his knees. One more time. Silva picked up and deposited back onto the ring. Two count. Sturdust having a uh, conversation with one of the audience members. What his face make? Jenkins still hanging on to Silva over there in the corner, bringing him back into the ring. Silva just dropping Jenkins on that top rope. Very nicely done. Well done, Sturdust. Sturdust, just leave it alone. Leave it alone, Sturdust. You had the dramatic sweep, man. You should have left. Can't go back for it again. Damn it! And there goes the briefcase. Have y'all ever seen the movie Sausage Party? No, can't say that I have. <laughs> not well, not sure that I want this. bubble gum that's like a genius. Yeah. Sturdust looks like a big old piece of ABC gum. Ooh. Already been chewed. Already been chewed, yeah. Yeah, we're familiar with that one. Silva now in control on the outside. We're at a six count. Seven count from Super Dave. Not exactly sure this is going to end well. If Jenkins doesn't get the higher rope here. And Silva... Off the top there. Count's still going. Jenkins has got to get inside. And Jenkins is in on the 10 count. Jenkins wins on the 10 count from a DQ. That is the bell. Jenkins is not going to be happy about that. Nope. Sturdust completely oblivious to what's going on inside the ring. He's running his mouth. <laughs> J.D. Jenkins is your winner by DQ. I don't think anybody's oh. going to get any pleasure out of how that match ended. Nope. Well, I don't know. Sturdust put up a lot of money for a match at the end. To have it end that way and not even see the end of the match. Sturdust making his way into the ring with that elusive briefcase. Is it that elusive? Is it like coated in butter or something? It could be. 
Well, he's dropped it like twice. <laughs> oh my God! I did not know he was that. Angel. Yeah, that's was that a kip up? It, 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 it was as close as we're gonna get that to a kip up. That is the closest kip. <laughs> the closest he was ever made to a kip up. Silva has a wooden chair. Looks to be trying to get it in some retribution. JD says, "Welcome. Come on." Can you turn me up in my headphones a little bit? How about that? Checky, checky. You didn't, yeah, you we're didn't good even, there. All right, you didn't there we go. touch that button. <laughs> Stop touching my buttons. I'm going to give you credit. For credit probably I didn't think it was going to show up here tonight tonight to fight me. And yeah, it took whatever he has in the briefcase. What did she do? And I barely won. However, Did that tonight. There's no way. There's no way I know I can guarantee that. If I put that Pro Wrestling Ego Championship around my waist. JD Jenkins wants a chance at the belt. Something to prove, fellas. I said that a couple of times this match. Indeed Something you did. to prove. And I'm going with all my might after that. J.D. Jenkins says that Pride Championship is might as well be his. Riled up, guys. If you don't want a big boy like that riled up at you. I think Sturda stole my daughter's sheets and made that cape. All right, so here we go. Sturdust with the briefcase asking for the mic. What's in it? Uh, as a, a loot crate, as uh, Sturdust has been referring to it. I thought it was an eBay mystery box. Well, we're about to find out what's in there. There we go. Jenkins reaches in, and it's a photo of Sturdust in a nice frame. I mean, it's nice, but is the frame? That's not worth it. It may be sterling enough. silver. I, or, get uh, I, get what, <laughs> I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's sterling silver. Sterling silver. You like right. that? That's Thank great. You. That's quality. Thank Did you. you work on that at home? I, I've been thinking about it for the, like the fast, past couple of seconds when I saw the, <laughs> the frame. Something's going to go down, guys. Yeah. How much I appreciate the generous gift you've given to me. That is valued at $10,000. That's also a lot of broken I glass it was in the 10, middle of the ring. Rupees. So rupees. Uh, Ten thousand rupees. That's from India. I, <laughs> yeah, there came the bloody just came out, kids. <laughs> three minutes. Yep. Did he say took, three minutes? Took him three whole minutes. <laughs> he probably the didn't even do it himself. The glove is off. Oh my. And with the uh, the straps are the down. straps are coming down. <laughs> this is not going to end well for Sturdust. Sturdust, you might want to leave. But we might want to go play some video games now. He does have a lot of views. I mean, he didn't really put his hands on him anyway. He just slapped him with his glove. I'd like well, to I mean, say that's probably... A hand. All right, Sturdust is begging off. That's probably the most running he's ever done in his oh, life. Oh, low my. blow to J.D. Jenkins' jewels, as it were. The Jenkins Sturdust jewels. Sturdust making his way outside. Left the briefcase completely behind. Sturdust <laughs> laughing all the way to the back. Trying not to fall down. <laughs> Well, it is a little slippery on this parquet floor. There's a lot of condensation in the room. 
He left the briefcases. There's nothing in it no more. I mean, you could put CDs. Papers. I don't know. It's probably worth. It's probably a decent little briefcase. Twenty, thirty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we can put all our equipment yeah. in there. You want me to go steal it real quick? I wish you, you would. That. Please do. You can grab that. J.D. Jenkins standing tall, if not in a little bit more pain after that See. exchange with Stardust. Not really seeing or thinking clearly right now. Well, if we've taken anything away from this exchange, J.D. has got his eyes on the prize. He's looking for the Pride Championship to be around his waist. And we are on the path to the Pride Championship right here at Pro Wrestling Ego. All he's got to do is keep his head straight. He's got the tools to get that championship. Sturdust Ballet Steve has the briefcase now. And I think it'd probably be wise if he didn't open any more loot crates from Sturdust. Yeah, probably so. Stop buying mystery crates off eBay, people. <laughs> 